Hey, what's up everybody? We are shooting today the follow-up video to a highly popular video that I shot a couple of days ago. The video was all about using these white gloves to shoot picks for eBay to go the extra mile. And now I'm going to go even further in the extra mile by showing you all the props that I use. It's very simple. I'm going to try to go through this as fast as I can, but we shall see. First, and the most important one is this. This is named after Susan because Susan was lazy. This is a lazy Susan. First off, let me ask if anybody knows why they call it a lazy Susan, leave it in the comments below because I would love to crack up or know why the hell they do that. So look at this. This was, or this is made of marble and it's got spotting on it, right? It's supposed to look real pretty. Now, if you don't want your if you don't want anything to take away from your product, you can make something like this. Thankfully, my girl made me something like this and it's awesome because it's sort of like a sock cover, whatever you want to call it. It is made of, I mean, nothing, nothing expensive. It's just pretty polyester. It's basically just stretches over. She put elastic on it so that it can fit. And now it's all white, mine is a dirt because it's dirty. But anyways, these, this wash is real quick and you can put it on. But the best thing about this is that you're going to use it all the time to shoot a lot of the products to make it faster and better. And actually, somebody gave me a, uh, a cool comment that I'm going to read off below. And there was a question that I'm going to read off toward the end because I want you guys to see this first before I take up any more of your time. So let's get started with the Lacey Susan. The first thing we're going to use is this carnival glass. It is vintage. It's from the 70s. So what you're going to do is that you're going to get down to wherever you're going to shoot. By the way, I, you do this in the light box, but I'm showing you guys here because the light box has uh, really bad camera shots. So I'm just going to show you here. So you put it in the center right here. You don't take any of the sides so you don't see my fingers because what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use my fingers to move it like this. You can move it as slow as possible or as slow as you want or as fast as you want. I don't recommend you go too fast. Slow and steady wins the race. So you go like this, right? The reason that you don't want to show this is because... You don't, you don't want anybody to see moving, uh, using your finger to move that. Nobody cares. And you can easily buy a Chinese piece of crap that is electronic, but I don't want a Chinese piece of crap that is electronic. That's why I bought that one. It's marble. It's mechanical. Another reason why I don't want anything electric or electronic is because it, there is more chance of it busting on you, and then you have to buy another one. What's going to bust on here? Look at this. When you flip this over, nothing. What, what's going to bust? The only thing that it has uh, in there are bearings. So this thing is going to last a lot longer. So I just want to say that about the Lazy Susan because it is very important. You have to get or you have to buy props that are going to last you as long as possible so that you don't waste your money. Let's move on to the next one. This is another thing that I use, which is essentially acrylic or, well, this is not acrylic, but this is just uh, polycarbonate plastic. This is a little stand. Look at these Charlie Chaplin cups. Beautiful. So you're going to use this for height and dimension. That's what it's for. So now you have height right here and then you have dimension because one's in the front and one's in the back. So you could shoot it the same way. You twist it, twist it, whatever you want. Most of the time though, when I use this, I don't use the Lazy Susan because it's unnecessary. I think the height and dimension will do everything that you need it to do. So you can just shoot it and talk about whatever the product is. Moving on. I have a set of these three things right here. I'm going to show you one. Well, I'm going to show you all of them, but one is already set up with some mirrorings. Look at that. Beautiful. These things are super inexpensive and they're very easy to use. You just thread the earring through there. Usually it's made for... Costume jewelry is going to be real easy to use because a lot of costume jewelry has a little hook. I mean, this is actually, that's not costume jewelry. This is real jewelry, but most of the time costume jewelry is going to be easier to use on that, but you can use it for whatever you want. As long as you can hang, you can hang all the stuff on there, but these are super light. So you don't want to knock them over. Now, all the products that I'm going to show you, by the way, let me mention it right now. It's going to be, they're going to be in the description below so that you can purchase them from wherever I find them. It does help the channel because I do get a, a kickback from that. So thank you very much uh, for pre-purchasing that for me. Let's move on. This is simple. You know, you shoot the video as you do. You make it turn and so on. I don't want to repeat myself and piss you guys off. So let's just go. Next is a general product like this one. 
And while I'm at it, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Mob Shots Coffee Company. This is the Dark Rose Blend, Chicago, uh, sorry, it's called the Chicago Dark Rose Blend. It is packed in San Antonio, Texas. Very proud of it. I drink it myself. I get it all the time. Great coffee. If you want some, look at the description below. It'll be right there. In this case, I would use the Lazy Susan because I want to see the entire thing. Spin right there. It gives you... So look, I would spin it and then I would stop right there because there's information that you need to read, right? And then I would go slowly again. Stop in the front. You can lay it down. If there was any information on the bottom, UPC barcodes and so on. This is one of my favorite ones because this is where your showmanship comes from. If there is one good thing that I've ever done in, in my life is I can be or I have been a very good salesman. I can sell anything and one of the things that I know will work with any customer is being a good showmanship or being a good showman. Having good showmanship, that's what I meant. So we're going to show you right now. Check this out. It's in a case, right? Why the hell is that in a case? That's a Cruet bottle. That's actually from the 1980s. It's a beautiful Cruet bottle. It comes in a set of two, but I'm only using one to make a point. And then I would add the second one. So this is what I would do. <clears throat> I would put the camera and then I would say, ah, oh, look at this. Beautiful, gorgeous looking Cruet bottle. And then I use a Lazy Susan. So what this does is that let's just assume that you had dry ice. You know how sometimes you put, like you see chefs do this, that they put dry ice on um, like under a dome and then they open it's like, oh my God. I wish I could do it with this, but I'm not gonna do that. That's not, if the product was like a thousand bucks, then I would invest in dry ice or more. I would invest in dry ice so it can look like that or smoke or something like that, but that's going too far for sure. I know that I got a lot of comments that like, well, you know, that's going too far. Well. What I say to that is that if you don't want to do it, fine. I'm going to go too far, but I'm going to make more sales than you. And that's okay with me because I want more money. So that's just the way that's going to go. Let's go to the next one. This is a lady's hand, as you can tell, because it is a very feminine look. It is, this is a gorgeous Michelle watch. It is diamond. Uh, it has diamonds inside. It's very expensive. That bracelet, it has diamonds inside. It's also very expensive. Right here alone, there's probably, I don't know, three or four grand in there. So you want to show something like that in this kind of light. Look at that. And you, you would do the Lazy Susan, right? And in this case, you would do it all the way because uh, somebody, whoever's buying it, needs to see the bottom or needs to see the back of that. They need to see the bracelet and the clasp. You keep going all the way around. And then you also do this. You're going to shoot this from the top. So if you shoot it from the top, they're going to see that. Of course, just be careful because there's lights at the top. So you're, you're, going to make a, you're going to make a big reflection. But you can shoot it like that or you can lay it down on the side like this. You would have to put something in the back so it won't roll. But you would lay it down on the side like that because that is more of a natural look. Now, let me explain this along with this. Why would I not use this on there? That is a man's watch. You don't want to use a man's watch on a lady's hand because then, you know, a real man is not going to buy it. That word, a real man, is kind of uh, up in the air. But trust me when I tell you this, I've been doing this a long time. A man will not buy something that is on a lady's hand or that looks dainty or that looks, it doesn't look, you, manly. So what you want to do is you want to remove this. You take the hand off. And the men's watches always shoot on the clear alone. Now, one thing I didn't mention, this one is going to shoot on there, but you're also going to move it and you're going to shoot it on one of these. A lady wants everything to look perfect through a hand, through to, to look a little bit more, like to have more oomph to the pictures. A guy doesn't really give a crap about that. A guy wants to see this. Like, hey, bro, just show me the watch so I can buy it or not. So you put it on here. Now, what I will say is that I have all this. There's a whole bunch of them. First of all, you you can't buy this in singles or you can't buy this in twos. You have to buy them in a pack. The reason you buy them in a pack is because I break them all the time. When you go to estate sales or when you go to Goodwill or wherever you're getting your watches, a lot of the times they're already sized. So they're going to be small. So look at this. I'm going to show you right now. This watch, it's very tight. I'm going to put it on again. Look at this. So when I stretch this over, I have to bend it. Okay. Well, 
Hey, that's a good example. There you go. That's why you get a bunch of these. I've broken probably 30 or 40 of these. Woohoo! It is what it is. You know, you just, this you're going to go through. They're, they're not expensive. They're pretty cheap. So just, uh, you know, stop complaining and just buy more. There you go. Next one. This, I don't know what to call this, but it holds a necklace. In this case, we did have to pin it right here in the back. The pin, all we did was sharpie it because this was a yellow pin. We sharpied it because so you don't, so you can't see it. So it won't distract from your shot. Now I'm going to show you something interesting here. Let me remove one of these. I know I look like Michael Jackson through the whole video, but I'm going to have to remove one because I need my fingers to turn this phone back on. Here you go. So now this is going to be a little different. When you are going to shoot a video, you're going to set it right in the center. Most of the time, you're only going to do this like QVC, right? Like, uh, what is that girl, that girl from Shark Tank? I forget her name, the QVC queen. If anybody knows her name, please leave it in the comments below because now I'm just going to be thinking about it all night. Look at this. All you're going to do is this. And the reason that you don't turn it around is because look at that. When you turn it around, you see all that. You see the stitching. Nobody cares about this. This looks ugly. It doesn't look fun. The customer doesn't give a crap about what you do on the back end. The customer doesn't give a crap about your inventory, about what you use and why you use it. They just want to see the product. So for those of you that keep including things that are unnecessary, stop doing that. You just have to show the customer what the customer is buying. And I'm going to give you an example. A lot of the times um, here, I have a box here. Let me grab one. A lot of the times I see this all the time. Um, resellers get clothing. They put their tag on there, which is their inventory tag. And they take a picture of it too, to have it on the listing. The reason you don't want to do that is because the customer again, doesn't give a crap about your listing. They don't care about your inventory system. So stop including it. What I do is that I do, I do take a picture because I need it for when I'm sitting down listing and I just add it to the SKU label or the custom SKU label on eBay. That's all I do. That's all you have to do so that you know where to find it, but the customer doesn't need to see that. I can't express that enough because I see everybody just doing a half ass job. And this is one of the reasons why eBay does not become Amazon or a bigger company. We all need to work together in order for more customers to want to come and buy our stuff because it's a better platform. If we could all do that, we'd all win. Let's go next. This is an interesting one. This I bought from Hobby Lobby or you can buy it at Michael's or any craft store. This is a ball of uh, foam. All you do, and I've actually made a short about this. You cut it at the bottom, preferably with something hot because it's a lot faster to cut and it doesn't leave all the marks at the bottom. Or you can cut it and when all the foamies come out, just use a heat gun and heat it through. That way you won't make a mess. I wrapped mine because I wanted to put YouTube Resolutions 2023. It's pretty awesome. I am very proud of my channel, so I wanted to do that. On a second note, when I do visors, you can see it from the top. So I'm kind of being sneaky. Although I don't recommend you do that because eBay can cancel you. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to put this. This is the Albert Einstein hat. We're going to set this right here. And now this is going to retain its shape. Now all you're going to do is turn and shoot. The same, uh, I'm going to say the same thing that I said in the other video. Just if you guys don't remember, I don't do this normally with hats. The only reason I would do it for the hat is if the hat was a vintage hat that was 50 bucks or hundred bucks or whatever, because if I'm only going to make $9, I'm not going to shoot a video. It's too long. It, it's, it's unnecessary. In this case, it's unnecessary. Let's keep going. This one right here. This is a multi-purpose use. You can do bangles like these that you see here. You can do bracelets. You can even do watches. The best use for this is something called a semanario. Semanario in Mexico is a bracelet that has, that it, it's like a set of bracelets, there's seven bracelets that you put together. And the reason for that is because you would set them here and you would put them all the way across. Because let's assume that you only have this one red bracelet, right? So you sit it right there. You can't really turn that because look, if you turn it, now I'm, look at that. I'm looking, I'm, I'm shooting a video of the log. Nobody cares about that again. So in this case, I would shoot it like this. I would do the QVC mode like that, like that, maybe from the top and so on. Let's move on. 
This is one of my favorite ones. This is a simple frame holder. And that is a private label product that we are gonna be uh, releasing sometime this week, maybe next week. This private label product is a gag gift from a man to a woman. It says, what will your spouse complain about next? Spin to find out. And then it has two uh, empties right there so that you can write whatever you want in. It is hilarious, or at least we think so. If you don't think so, then fine, you don't have to buy it. But I know that products like these make a lot of money. Now, for before you ladies lose your mind, we are also making one that goes on the reverse from uh, a guy complaining so that the lady would buy it for the man. So, you know, the wife buys it for the husband, the husband buys it for the wife, and we make money from that. This is something that I'm very proud of, and I always talk about my private label products because these are products that sell basically forever, and I just list them once. This is what I use. I'm going to show you another one. You could use it for cards. You could use it for books, and it's a simple stand. You can twist it. In this case, like I said, don't use the back, so you would do the QVC mode, back and forth, whatever you want, and that's it. Now for one of the final ones. These are ring sizers ring sizers can double up as as uh, props so the ring sizer doesn't have to be just for ring sizing look at this look let me use mine hold on it's tight this is a silver ring so i wouldn't use this because it blends in too much right so what do i do leave that there put that there and now it doubles up as here i'm gonna i'm gonna show the size right there which is a seven and a half and then i would shoot it like this Okay, it rolls. You would have to stop it from rolling. You can tape it. You can do whatever you want. But most of the time, I'm not going to use this on the Lazy Susan. It's unnecessary. So you would use it to shoot a video in angles, or you, you could even pick this up with your white gloves on. Sorry, I already took it off. But you would shoot it like this, show it, show the back, show the, the top, and then you would show the inside just with the white glove on with your hand. All right, the last one I'm going to show you is this. This is a small tripod. And this is a phone holder. You put it on and I'm going to show you how it works. Essentially, you get whatever angle you want. You put your phone on. Mind you, this phone holder is the shitty one. I have a very good one, but it's on my other tripod because I, I do shoot a lot. And I recommend whenever you buy something like this, buy a good tripod. Don't buy the shitty ones because then it's just going to give you a headache. Buy a good tripod and buy a good phone holder. God, I hate this one. You see, it's already giving me a headache and I'm shooting a video. Insane. So what you would do, let's assume that nothing's back there and you're in your light box. You can set it up right here at an angle, whatever you want. Let's just say that your angle is going to be that. If you look at the screen, let me put something on here. Uh, this one. If you look at the screen, you're not showing the entire hand, but now your phone is centered right there. If you don't want to be all shaky or if you don't want to be holding your, your phone all the time, because sometimes you get the sides of the light box, you can zoom in right there and you can shoot right there. You can do the twist, look at that. That's beautiful, that's QVC style right there. Suckers, look at that, woo! So I do recommend you spend a couple of bucks, get something like this, it really does work and it saves you quite a bit of time because right now I have a cameraman but when you're by yourself shooting pics, nobody's gonna be helping you. You're gonna be doing it on your own, right, most of the time? So you just set it up and start shooting the pics. Now, as I promised, let me answer a question that was posed. So the question says, or the question asks, how do potential buyers know if a listing has a video to describe your product? It would, it would go great if I did it. Oh, it would do great if I did it in my listings for classic sports cards. Thank you, bro. And that was Raul Romo 3981. So let me answer this question. You don't really know. This is why it's utterly important that you use the best keywords so that whoever is shopping your product clicks on your product. Then they're going to see the play button because the play button is universal now. As you guys can see from YouTube right there, it's universal, right? So they're going to click on the play button and they're going to watch your video. That's the best answer that I can give. And also, let me, let me read something at the bottom. Um, WhamRam3811 said, get a turntable. It will look better. You know what, bro? It's funny because when I shot this, I said, I'm going to do a follow-up video. And you just commented that before I actually showed this. So here you go, Wham Ram. There you go. What's up, buddy? That's a good one, man. I love this turntable. It is very heavy. So that thing is going to last forever. And, you know, if, 
if somebody pisses you off, you can just throw it at their head and, you know, break their skull too. Not that I recommend that you do any of that, by the way. And I'm not condoling any violence. Let's see, what else? Uh, do you ever use props when shooting videos? Yes, I already answered all that with this whole video. And then a lot of people agree there's a new subs and that's it. I'm not going to go through the rest of that because it's unnecessary. I want to thank everybody for being, um, for watching this video, for being part of the channel. Do me a favor, as always, like, subscribe, share this video. I would love to grow this channel so that we can all help each other make more money in 2024. We can all be successful. There's enough pie to go around for everybody. You don't have to be greedy and you can share. It's totally fine. We can all make money. So thanks again. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.